So I am live here uh, with Stacia Lou Kennedy. And to open everything up, I wanted to read um, this short deal that I have here. Um, I came across it. Actually, my girlfriend came across it. And it is probably one of the most profound things I've read throughout the whole COVID-19 stay-at-home deal. So <clears throat> in 2030, a college kid says, in history class, we learned that the COVID-19 pandemic in 2020 was really bad. What was it like? Parent. Well, everything was shut down in an attempt to kill the virus, but not everyone followed the order to quarantine for 15 days. So it lasted longer than anyone expected. Many people died who shouldn't have. Grocery stores were out of everything because people were hoarding as much as they could. We were scared of an economic failure for our country and for ourselves because we couldn't work. Don't you remember it? You were eight. College kid. All I remember was the school closing and being homeschooled. I remember doing scavenger hunts in our yard. I remember eating meals as a family for a change. I remember getting great sleep because I wasn't up late for homework or getting up early for school. I remember board games as a family. I remember watching our pastor on our laptop. Honestly, it was the happiest time of my childhood. And then it encourages us not to lose perspective. So when I'm sitting there and I'm thinking of something like that, uh, it's one of the main reasons why I wanted to bring you on station. And that was because you were doing Zoom meetings way before they were even cool. So probably about two, three years ago, uh, I remember watching you and you've worked with some of the highest producing real estate agents in the area. Uh, one of them being Thatch Wynn, uh, he's just, an incredible real estate investor, incredible um, real estate agent, and he's been doing great things. And you were helping out on his social media. Then you got married and you moved somewhere that I'm very jealous that you're at and I am not. And that is in San Diego right now. <laughs> like if I had to be somewhere, I mean, that would be one of the top places I would want to be right now because the burritos, the food, everything is amazing. And you're still helping out a ton of people doing social media coaching, doing coaching on platforms like this. And the reason why I'm bringing you on is because I love my community. I love my friends, my family. And I know that this is totally, totally different for us to all be working from home for the most part. And what better to have somebody bring value than an expert like yourself, who's been doing it for a long time. And so without further ado, the social media goddess, Stacia <laughs> Luke Kennedy. How are Thank you, you Great, great. Yeah, I mean, you know, I kind of like joke around with my friends because I'm like, you know, well, this has always been my life, self-quarantine. <laughs> like, I actually like being in the house and like, yeah. um, and being online and social media and um, I'm lucky. I mean, I've actually been striving for this. I've been striving for this for like the last 10 years to be able to like just work from home. Um, so like you said before, I was, uh, I actually started off um, and I created my own position by filming my mentor Thatch Wynn at an event and he was speaking and he was really inspiring. And I just had a you know, a heart for the story, you know, he yeah. was able to tell the story. And I was like, I just wanted to share that with people. So I posted it on Facebook and tagged him. And he was like, how did you do that? Can you do that for me? <laughs> um, you know, and follow me around. Like, basically, I, we were doing the Gary V thing before Gary V, right? Or, or well, probably about the same It was time. about like the same time. <laughs> yeah. like, it was just different strokes for different right. folks, you right, know, right. like, hey, it's cool though. No, that's just, done such a great job with establishing a social media empire. And I know that you were a huge part of that story. I mean, the stuff that he's doing on social media right now and showing homes and then investing, you know, a lot of that blueprint, I mean, I was talking to you back then about, oh my God, how are you guys doing that? And now it clicks. That was the Gary V thing before Gary V. We just didn't know we had it in our backyard and uh, here you are. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I really just, um, people would, would say, how did you do that, right? And then I would just film a video and I'm like, oh, here, watch this video. And um, that's kind of how I got started. And I just uh, was able to just keep at that, that premise to be able to fully work from home. And then about three years ago, um, you know, I decided to get married and move to San Diego so that we can actually take breaks and walk to the beach and create, design our own life. You know, yeah, like he, yeah. he really like taught me with my mentor to, to design my own life. And 
um yeah and so that's yeah, i know Dash is a here. huge believer in that in designing your own life and i mean that's probably a little bit of tony robbins a, a little bit of gary v and you know he makes it his own and you've obviously followed that pattern so with that being said you're in cali you guys have the it's not just a stay at home but it is like don't leave your house right yeah <laughs> yeah pretty, pretty intense much. down there yeah we like take walks but like the beaches are closed now so it's kind of it's all like caution taped off from the main right, paths right. but um you know it's okay like i'm still like i don't know if it's to me i'm like super optimistic because i'm like there's Absolutely. still people buying guys yes. like i mean i'm you know, I'm not necessarily a real estate agent, but I am on the, the support end and I see people, there's multiple offers out there. There's, you know, things are happening. Absolutely. So being a socialpreneur, you've had to work through the challenges I think we're all working with. You know, I have kids, you have kids, you have the husband, you know, and all that fun stuff. So what are you coaching uh, these clients, these real estate agents, these lenders, you know, the socialpreneurs? like what's the initial advice that you're telling them from a workspace it's so funny I've been, I've been saying this for years like you've got I mean people come to me because they want to get in front of more people right? yeah and instead of knocking on doors instead of and now you literally you can't knock on doors like you know instead of doing the old school way of marketing you know, turning that into getting on YouTube, you know, having your own show, doing a Which, video like this. Just so right? you guys know, this will be on YouTube later <laughs> today, but go ahead, shameless plug. Yes, exactly. Getting on YouTube. Um, the, the thing here is that this is all about leverage. We're in real estate because we want to leverage and that's what multimillionaires do is leverage. So we're levering the internet tools using video marketing, using YouTube, using Instagram, using um, Facebook. Facebook Live to get in front of more people. Now, once this is done, this is going to live on. Now I'll be able to reach thousands and thousands of more people than doing one-to-one. -one. Now we're reaching one-to-many. Yeah. I mean, I was thinking about it and I'm like, you know, people I wanted, when I started doing this virtually connected series, uh, it's something I've been wanting to do for such a long time. And I've gotten to meet such amazing people. You know, I've done stuff with like the Richard Sherman softball team. I've done mortgages and real estate. You know, I've spoken at different mortgage events and I'm like, you know, who really needs to meet this person is this person over here and, and this person over here. Oh my God, they would probably thrive if they met this person. And I could never, you know, just introduce enough people to that would bring that type of value. But now all the way from San Diego, I'm able to introduce you to maybe, you know, four or five, key people inside of my sphere, people that are friends of mine that hopefully will be able to get to know you and really take their business to the next level. So when you're doing that and you're creating that space, how do you deal with the interruptions? Because <laughs> it's bound to happen. Oh yeah, like I have my little daughter. I actually, for those of you who don't know, um, I have an 18 year old. Well, he's no longer living in the house anymore, huh. but um, I do have a three year old. So sometimes she is bound. She may even pop in here, like just and be like, mom, I got to put, oh, we're potty training. <laughs> so it's not been fun oh, in the goodness. Zoom world. My Zoom life has been interrupted several times, but most people just love seeing her and they just like, oh, she's so cute. No problem. Like, Give me a minute. We have, you have to know run to how the happy potty. I am that I've moved past the potty training phase with my kids. <laughs> like, that was just awkward, you know, in yeah. all, all kinds of ways. So kudos to you for being able to do that. Yeah. That should that should speak to your professionalism, <laughs> like leaps and bounds. I am a Zoom and social media coach, and I'm able to do it all while potty training my kids. <laughs> yeah. like, people will be like, people who have kids will be like, oh, just, oh my god. <laughs> it's amazing like, so okay wow. all right so you're able to create that space is there anything that if you're i mean amazon is still up and running despite reports um you know as you know in the seattle general area yes there's some minor interruptions with amazon but for the most part they're still running and hitting on all cylinders is there anything people should be buying because i'll tell you like right now i went on facebook marketplace and i got that you know, good size Yeti microphone. I got it for steel. I got it for like 40 bucks. I got the light ring. I got the backdrop. I got yeah. all that fun stuff. But what should people be looking to get during this time? 
Yeah, I mean, I have a webcam, which is way nicer than my, I mean, you can be very simplistic. You can, all you really need is a laptop and actually your cell phone. Like if you don't even have, you can use your phone. You guys all have phones, uh, even though some of your realtors don't pick them up, but. <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta ask, I gotta ask, are you team Android or team iPhone? I'm dying for team iPhone. Oh, I'm team iPhone. Okay, all okay. The way. Cool. I'm, I'm Max, like everything. Um, but I, do, I knew we would click. I would suggest though, is I have a selfie stick tripod. So um, you can like, you know, do nice, that. nice. You can like have it on your desk and hold it up. So okay. sometimes it's faster to do that is to, to have a tripod there for your phone. But literally, um, you know, you don't need to be fancy. Like um, I do have a drop backdrop now and I have my ring light back there and natural light is even better. I actually turned off my ring light because it's so sunny today, but um, yeah, I mean, people really like to see the behind the scenes. Like, so, I mean, that's why they like reality TV show, even though we know it's all fake, but you know, having your daughter jump in on, you know, and maybe even, um, you know, now I have this backdrop, but even before that, it'd be my messy bedroom back there or office. <laughs> so it's, it's okay. Whatever it takes to get your story out. And that's, what's going to make you differentiate yourself from any other realtor. And that's why I've always um, you know, promoted being on video and having your own YouTube channel so that you can um, separate yourself from your competition. Yeah, you're just telling your own story. I mean, that's essentially what's happening. Yeah. So, okay. So other stuff, if you are trying, like we were talking about it before this, you were teasing me. I'm like, okay, I got to figure out, I'm still working on, you know, trying to get it to connect to Facebook. And you're like, you should try StreamYard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love Zoom. I do lo do Zoom for like personal one-on-one <laughs> -on -one meetings and showing people my screen. Um, I do like coaching calls pretty much Monday through Friday through Zoom. But when you do a show like this, it's actually really cool to use something like StreamYard. It's very user-friendly for guests as well too. So when you have a side-by-side show, you know, <laughs> side -side show like this, you can actually be a, a little bit more cool and fancy and you can actually have like banners to show up, your logo on the top. Yeah, I you saw don't, that. Yeah, you don't need to actually have to have a, a lot of fancy equipment and I can simply send one link to someone and they don't have to download any software. You do have to download Zoom. So with StreamYard, it's been really simple for my really non-techie people that um, okay. want to be able to make this happen. Got it, got it. Yeah, that's... Oh, and here's another benefit I'm going to tell you is that you can pre-schedule the video. So if we had done that with StreamYard, we could have got a lot more people on live and actually tag people and send people out the actual pre-scheduled event and they would get reminders from Facebook saying that well, you're, li you're live. Yeah, yeah I, I checked it out too and it's probably about 50 bucks for like the, the really good one, like yeah. the top level one. So it's about 50 bucks a month. Oh, you can multi-stream. The only reason yeah, why I would want the $54 is that you can multi-stream to three or four or like like a lot of them, but you can do the $25 a month one. And I only do Facebook and YouTube at the same time because then that way I don't have to download and re-upload it again. Got it. So to my friends out there that are real estate, mortgage, uh, insurance, like any kind of professional, especially like right now, one of the, I have a good friend of mine that's a bartender. He's going to come on and mix drinks because I miss my bartender. This, is, <laughs> this has been a struggle for me right now, but this is who I am and I embrace it. So that being said, um, we were talking about it and he goes, or he was talking to me about coming on live and I'm thinking, how can I stream that to different areas? So StreamYard was cool because when I looked it up, it was Facebook, LinkedIn, uh, YouTube, and I don't remember <laughs> I think, I think those were the three that it'll stream to and it'll stream them all live. So uh, if you are in any of those industries and you are thinking about doing, you know, little interviews like this or home buyer seminars, I know I have one real estate agent where uh, we can't do our, um, what is it? We can't do our uh, Facebook, what is it? Our first time home buyer seminar. We can't do those live anymore. And so since we can't do those live anymore, we're actually breaking them down into like little segments and putting them on the Facebook page and putting them on YouTube. So 
Another thing that you could do too is you need to start building your own community. So I would highly suggest creating your own Facebook group where it's a private Facebook group just for your database, you know, just for your people and your prospects. So that way, that's another way that you could do it too. And then having, having those little modules, you can actually have, make clips, like you said, in there and hold them into your groups. And then that way you can actually um, cultivate a relationship, cultivate a, a following, you know, I, that's the three things that I tell a lot of my coaching students is there only three things that you need to, to focus on every day in your online business is to one, get your message out there. Number two, create a community. Number three, make an offer. If we're not making offers, especially in real estate, right? If we're not telling people right. what, where to go to buy and work with us, then we're not going to make any money. Closed mouths don't get fed. That's <laughs> the message. That is the message. We learn it early in sales. It is what it is. So um, I, I was thinking about it. So another person I'd love to introduce you to, her name is uh, Megan Anderson, and she's running uh, a lot of the social media for something called MBS Highway, which is where I've been getting so much of my information on the financial markets. I'm going to tell you right there, MBS Highway is probably one of the premier services. If you are a mortgage lender right now and you don't have it, you are missing out. But she actually gave me uh, a great idea in same thing that you just said about creating a community. So now I've actually started a private Facebook group and this is my board of advisors. So before I even roll something out, um, I actually ping it in this group and it's no filter, no real sales. I'm just like, hey guys, what do you think about this? And these are like my total VIPs. This is my close knit group of just top referring clients, friends, family, and I just bounce ideas off of them. And then I, I ask them for feedback, like, what would you improve on the real estate transaction? And then, you know, hopefully later on this year, we're doing stuff when we can get together. Uh, we're doing things like uh, a board of advisors dinner. <laughs> so just going to like a nice restaurant, whether it's Salty's or uh, over at the over at Yacht Club here in Silverdale, or, you know, if it's it's a killer year, you know, maybe something mm -hmm. like that, but it better be a killer year. <laughs> like, we'll, we'll just decide, we'll, we'll figure it out. But definitely those ideas can go out. But without that uh, intimate VIP Facebook group, that stuff wouldn't be possible. Yeah. So you're yeah. dead on. Definitely. Okay. So you can do things pretty cheap. We talked about that. I mean, are there any other like strong practices? Like, what are you telling your coaching clients now during this time? What are you saying? you guys need to gravitate towards this or to use a Wayne Gretzky analogy, if you want to skate to where the puck is going and not where the puck is at, what are you telling them to do? Is it stream yard? Is it, they need to get this or that? What are you saying? Just go live, you know, just turn on the camera and, and tell your story. Like I said, um, my format is what I love to tell people on, on what to, cause all people always say, well, what do I say? right? Like, yeah. what do I even talk about? Right. Um, there's so many things that you can talk about. You just basically break it down. How can you help someone get from where they're at right now? Think about where they're at right now and help them get to where they want to be in the quickest way possible. And then the format, um, when I start a live stream, I always just go right into it. You don't want to be waiting around and like, Oh, yeah. like, hey, who's there? Da, 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 you know, <laughs> and it's like, just get right into it. What no, are you going to talk about? It, you know? I yeah. mean, I think yeah. I've done enough of these to where I just finally figured that out. And I think one thing I would communicate to everybody is you're going to suck at first. Yeah. Like, yeah. Because it's all really about the replay. People are going to watch the replay. Yeah. You're not so going to good. Nobody, you yeah. Right. Nobody wants to like see you kind of fumbling around. So just go right into like, today, are you having a problem? I actually pinpoint the pain points right in the beginning. Right. So are you, you know, having a problem with this? Are you having a problem with get, you know, getting through multiple offers or whatever the issue is? And then you say, and then you, you introduce yourself. Hey, my name is Sage Kennedy and I am an online marketing coach. I've been teaching and training entrepreneurs how to do this for the last 10 years. And in this video, I'm going to share with you exactly how to overcome that obstacle in wow. th three tips or three steps or whatever your, you know, kind of bullet point a couple of different tips right doesn't have to be a lot so you maybe i like to do odd numbers so if you have three tips five tips or whatever whatever yeah. the um the solution is and then always always give people a call to action where can they go to get more 
How can they learn more? How can they book a call with you? How can they get a hold of you? Where can they buy from you? So always at the end, have a call to action. Tell people need to be told what to do. Yeah, I think, um, I mean, gosh, I'm going to apply that right away when I go to do <laughs> my next one, of course. Um, I want to make sure that I'm going in underneath that same structure because that's brilliant. Like hitting that pain point at the very beginning, uh, that's something I haven't been doing. Uh, and I've read that book. I'm not sure if you hit it or read it before, but um, Pitch Anything by Oren Class. Oh, no. Phenomenal book. That's good. Phenomenal book. And it really does talk about putting that point of intrigue, that hook right at the very beginning. Yes. So um, one of my mentors, um, he's the founders of um, ClickFunnels, which is another software that I, I like to promote. Um, and his thing is hook story offer. So you have to hook them, have some kind of hook, tell the story, and then make your offer. Basically, is exactly what I just said, I guess. <laughs> yeah, hook story offer. Okay, like that's, that's pretty much it. But that is that is the example. Okay, well, that being said, um, especially anybody who is in that King County, Pierce County area, they know what Thatch has done on a social media level. And if they're trying to pick up some tips, tools, and tricks on how to imitate that success, um, obviously we'd send them to you. So how can Thank they get you. in contact with you? Yes, they can. You can comment below here. You can comment my name, Stacia Kennedy, and tag me and I can reach out to you. Um, I, I'm always on Facebook and like Sean just pinged me and was like, hey, ready to go? I'm like, yes, we are. So yeah. I'm always available on Facebook as well. Um, you can also go to StaciaKennedy.com. Excellent. Excellent. And I saw you put a little $10 credit uh, for yeah. Sweetheart here. That is pretty stinking cool. Yeah. I will most likely personally take advantage of that. <laughs> but um, for those of you that are watching, I would totally encourage you to reach out to an expert like Stacia. She is amazing and she's constantly building her own brand and she's doing more than that. She's being a real giver and helping other people create their own story. And she's got a successful track record. So it's one thing to say you're doing it, it's the one thing, and it's completely different to have done it time and time again, and that's what she's done. So without any further ado, uh, I can see your three-year-old. What, what's your name? <laughs> Who is this? We've got a guest. How are you, sweetheart? I'm in Seattle. What's your name? Oh, we lost sound. We lost sound. Oh, I hit mute. Say oh. hi, Ava. Hi, Ava. How are you? Ava Kalea. <laughs> I heard potty training is going amazing. We're all rooting for you. Yes. Okay. This is awesome. All right. Well, I will let the two of you go. But Thanks thank for having me. Much. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate you. And I will make sure to share this, download it, and send you the link. Okay. Thank you. All right. Bye, everybody. Bye, Bye.